Hi guys, it's your girl Foxy Leah here coming to you with another video. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, share my videos. If you're already a member here, welcome Foxy Dolls. And I just want to give some updates before I start this video. This is the makeup look that I did today. Um, ponytail, I tinted my brows and makeup actually. Um, sorry guys, I've been having some issues with my phone, with the storage. So I think I got everything rectified. My husband and did some type of magic and here I am so um, just letting you know I will be doing some updates for the hauls that I did from before um, in regards to waist trainers my yoni uh, pearls and everything like that in another video um, this one is just going to be you know strictly makeup and beauty um, also I didn't get to start my fitness journey like I wanted to, I got sick. Um, I took a trip to Vegas and came back not too long ago. So, um, it was supposed to be a vlog. It didn't really work out that way. It was a lot going on. Um, I will put some pictures of my makeup, um, when I went to Vegas, I didn't get to do a tutorial or anything like that, but I just wanted to do something like more on the sultry, um, smoky eye, you know, um, what else? Mm, I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. But I am going to start my fitness journey. I promise I probably will be taking you guys with me to walk or exercise so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this week, I am going to try to go ahead and take a picture of all my meals or smoothies or protein shakes or whatever I make. Um, and then I'll, you know, put all the ingredients and everything I use in the description box below. Um, I also, from this makeup look, I did get the Juvia's palette, the pinks. You guys know I am in love for real with Juvia's. This is so gorgeous. And I just used one of the pinks for this one. I will also let you see my swatches in a picture here so you can get an idea of what they all look like. They are all gorgeous pinks. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start this tutorial now. Hey guys, so I wanted to do something on the more artistic side uh, for this makeup tutorial. Um, I did wash my face earlier, but I just want to make sure that it was clean before my makeup. So I went in with my e.l.f. toner, and it really does get off a lot of dirt, as you'll see here. And I am using my Godfrey Tinting Kit from Amazon. Um, it's a little bit more now. For my first video, I think it was like $17.99, but now it is $21.99 or $21.95. And how you use it is you get the capsules, you put it in the little mixing bowl, which I'm about to show you here. You just take it straight out. It's pretty easy. Sometimes I only use half, depending on what I'm doing, but I did pour the whole capsule in this time. And then you could just throw it away after. So here's what it looks like, just the powder. And then you just mix equal parts, one part and one part in there with the developer and the powder. Then I'm gonna take my handy dandy angle brush and go ahead and mix everything up really, really well. So you just mix it up until everything is well mixed together. It will turn like a grayish color. And just make sure you get all the powder and everything. Sometimes it'll go on the sides or on the top of the little mixing bowl there. Thank you. 
and I've watched a bunch of tutorials about this so I ended up just making up my own technique pretty much my brows are like super duper thin because my hair is fine I used to have like more brow but it was just in other places like I used to have hair in between a lot of hair on the ends that connect to my hairline so you know I've been through some stuff with my brows bro remember I used to cut those with a razor blade like a regular razor blade that you shave your legs with in high school no I used to chop my brows up terribly but anyway so I usually put it on with um take my hair off with conditioner it's usually easy for me or gel sometimes or lotion if I don't have any of those so what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of straightening them out because I have like fine hairs they tend to like just go wherever they want to go so I'm just making sure they're all going to the same place so I do use archers just for the shape usually, but for this quickie brow tinting tutorial, I'm using it for the inside of my brows as well as the outside. Usually for the inside, I just honestly pluck it because, I mean, I've been doing it for so long. There's not even a lot of hairs to pluck at this point, but <laughs> I just try to pluck them so I can make sure that they don't come back. I'm a person that does like thicker brows so that's why I really do my brows thick and also guys you have to keep in mind that the more time you have the tinting on the more it's going to fade just like hair dye so when I first do them they're like really bold but honestly if you don't want them that bold all you have to do is take some alcohol or you could do like toner and the color will actually come off slowly so but you know the next morning like when i wash my face it starts to fade from there as soon as you put it on pretty much it starts to fade from there so each day it'll get a little bit lighter a little bit lighter i honestly thought about letting my brows just grow in for like two months just to see how thick they get but I don't know maybe in another video because I love how they look when you like start fresh like when they're like pretty much almost grown in it's so satisfying to do your brows when they're like that so here I'm just wiping the conditioner off so I'm about to apply the tint just making sure everything is gone all the hairs and everything are removed Yeah, honestly, I don't have a bad shape to my brows. It's just, to me, they're like super thin. I'm just trying to see the shape here so I can make sure I don't make any huge mistakes with the tin tin kit. My brows are just doing whatever, y'all. So I do start more in the middle now. I used to start, I think, in the front. Then I changed it again and then I came back to the middle because it's just it's just easier to me that way and then I let the, the front or the first part of my brow be the last because I don't want it to be like too dark in the front thought about honestly changing my brow shape because I've had the same brow shape for like years and I wanted to see what I look like with other shapes maybe some thinner brows maybe and of course the problem 
problem, bro. Never fails. Well, like I always say, what you have to remember is just make sure that you're using small amounts first and then you can always build up. I love these Q-tips also because they just make me have such a cleaner brow. Anything you mess up, you can always just remove if you do it fast enough. part of my brow Ugh, all the hairs go like straight up which I hate but the other brow like they kind of fan out into like um like a blended brow just my natural brows I'm, I'm talking about so I just try to make it look the same even though like my real eyebrows are so not symmetrical like I don't understand why that is it's been like that forever but I try my best also ladies is that the longer you leave it on the darker it will be so you might want to just keep that in mind as well i've made many mistakes made it too dark but like i said you can also correct that with alcohol or toner or something like that this brow remember i told you about the first part of this one Ugh, i hate it in a couple years from now i'm gonna look back on this video like why the hell was my eyebrows like that <laughs> that's what people always do i look back at some old pictures like why in the hell did i do my eyebrows like that like what was i thinking about but for right now i like them just making sure the measurements are good Now let's talk about this ponytail so this ponytail i get from amazon um i forgot how much it was i'll link that into the description box below but i think it's about 26 inches long and i know that looks weird on camera but like my hair is exactly that color brown and i had just put some gel on it so it's like a little darker but once it dries it's, it's literally that same color I was really getting tired of my hair, don't want to do anything to it. I kind of want to cut it all off, but I'm just not there yet. So at this point, I know everything is the way I want it. I'm just putting a conditioner on there so I can get ready to wipe everything off. And when I do this, everything comes off very smooth. Very 
kind of like a one and done situation. Just making sure it's all off. Because you do not want that stuff to sit on your face, guys. Almost done. I know y'all can see that in that little corner there. Sometimes my brows really just get on my nerves. That's why I'm really seriously considering throwing them all the way back in first. So this is as good as they're going to get at this point. So let's move on. And this is the after. Alright, so I'm going in with that primer I told you about that I actually really love. The pore filler by NYX. It's black. Putting it all over my face. Making sure it's in there. I have horrible, horrible pores, people. Like, I seriously consider doing the micro needling on my face because I had several spots on my body where I had scars and I used the micro needle. I think I only did like three sessions and the scars were gone. So I'm seriously considering. I see people do it all the time. I look at those YouTubes that they do that on and I'm seriously considering it. So I don't want my makeup to be too heavy. It's kind of hot outside. So I'm just doing the concealer, that Tarte concealer that I just got from the haul from Ulta. And I really like it because it has that huge brush. So like a little goes a long way. And also the spots on my face that I don't want to reflect through the makeup I'm going to wear. I also put it on those spots. And I do feel like doing it with my finger is better because the warmth and moisture from my finger is kind of like melts into my skin. So that's why I'm doing it. Before I tried it with a beauty blender and I feel like it wasn't as effective for me. So I'm loving this Bare, bare Minerals. I was about to say Bare Essentials. Uh, no, Bare Minerals that I got I'm using a brush that I got from elf to put that on I feel like the Tarte um, concealer in this blends really well so I'm just making sure that's really in there in my skin really well I feel like I am going to have to buy some more for the summer though. Just a tad bit darker. Just a tad. I don't get really tan, but just a little. I picked up too much on my brush, so I'm just tapping it off. I don't want to waste any of my product, but sometimes it just turns out that way. Trying to avoid my baby hairs, but I'm gonna have to redo them after this is over, probably. I also was thinking about getting some color correcting concealer like with the greens because like when I do get tan I do get red or pink and I already have like pinkish undertones anyway so I thought about getting that green um, concealer maybe it'll help me out I never used that before but I do want to try it Making sure that it's in my little baby hair so it doesn't look like it's, you know, one color on my face and another color there on my forehead. Just making sure it's blended.
do this brow just keep on messing up y'all get it together I got this for me love her for it this one doesn't have any names though so you know that's why I wanted to show you guys which pink I was using so my lighting is kind of bad on this one I wanted to do it like somewhere else in my house but you know having kids you know how that is yeah so I just closed myself like myself in my room and I just did the video but honestly this pink that i chose is like it has all these iridescent like colors in it like it's a shimmery pink and it's like iridescent if you can picture that but i'm telling you you'll have to probably get it on your own to really see or go to like Ulta or something to see what it looks like because it is beautiful this lighting does it no justice honestly So pretty much I'm just filling my lid in with this. There's no creases or anything like that really. I just want it to be simple but artistic at the same time for this one. I just wanted to do something different that I never do. And like I said, my Pinterest, I'm going to link that in the description bar as well. I have an obsession with the blue liner right now. I don't know why, but yes. And I never ever put like pink and blue together, so why not so I'm just taking a look to make sure that it's filled in okay so the epic wear the next epic wear liner that I usually wear the black one so they have colors guys and I have never used the blue from what I can remember anyway so this is a, blue, a new blue liner and again I swear by this epic wear I'm telling y'all I'm telling if you sweat it could be raining outside I'm telling you this shit stays on like it's amazing like it was hard for me to get this off of my face I had to go in with a white like a makeup wipe and usually I don't have to do that usually I can soak my face up really good use my little scrubber brush that I got from five and below and it's off no not this liner so if you're looking for something to last I'm telling you NYX epic wear liner amazing of course I cannot do any makeup look without my little wing tip so I have to do it but the blue, it looks amazing with the tip. Or whatever you like to call it. Some people call it cat eye, wing tip, whatever you like to call it. I don't know what made me do this, but I just sat down and did it. I would love to do this with a purple as well. That would probably be really cute. But I don't know what color I would put in the middle. Hmm, I'll have to figure that out later. For the inside of my eye, I'm kind of making it like a point from the top to the wing liner. my first time doing this technique so just know my hand was not super steady <laughs> so you'll see it in the pictures what I mean but it's still a cute look I feel probably have to practice once practice this one a couple times but I think I did okay for my first time I'm 
but I liked it though. So I got this little pot of shadow from Hot Topic. I don't, I can't, guys, I can seriously not even tell you. I probably used it like twice. And it probably looks totally different now, like the packaging that it used to look. So I know somebody out there feels me on that. This, I've had this forever. I had a, a white iridescent one, a black, a blue, and a hot pink. I really didn't even use those joints. I have a couple blues though, but this was probably the, the closer color to the eyeliner. So that's why I chose this one. So I'm kind of making it a little smoky up under there to match with the blue liner. I'm always poking myself in the damn eye with this brush. <laughs> and yes, don't talk about me, but this is my same brush that I use even though I got new makeup brushes. Don't talk about me that I got from the L'Oreal um, Beyonce line. I'm telling you, that little brush is amazing. Don't talk about it. All right, so I got my lashes from Foxy Strands, which is my company, but I sell lashes. I am using the Royal Paradise Lashes. And they are freaking huge, guys. Dramatic. Truly. I usually don't wear these. I think this is my first time wearing the Royal Paradise ones. And it's funny because my 14-year-old picked out the name for these because they are so just out there. This time, I got my handy-dandy scissors so I can measure my lashes. Usually, I do it with clippers, like fingernail clippers, but I didn't have any handy, so... Let's make sure they fit. I'm using my glue that I got from my haul for Amazon. Really, really easy brush on. It's supposed to be extra hold, which it is. They don't come off until I want them to come off. And guys, I do bend my lashes around my finger once I do cut them just to make sure they have that arch because the way that my eyes are I do have that you know that deep kind of arch in my eyelid I do want the glue to be a little tacky of course so it sticks better so that's all I'm doing just making sure it's a little tacky and I always tell you guys that I'm going to use my lash tool Somebody please remind me to use my lash tool. I'm just so used to putting these boys on with tweezers on my hand. You know, you know how that is. But I really, really, I'm going to put that in my mental roller deck to use the lash tool, guys. Like, seriously. You see what I mean by really dramatic? Like, look at those lashes. Super dramatic. I like it though. Whoa. Flirty, flirty. Okay, so I have this. I don't know how I feel like all the way. I never do this. I see celebrities do this all the time or people that I follow on YouTube. But I'm going to attempt to overdraw my lips. Now, I have, I don't have really thin lips. Like, I feel that I would love to make my top lip a little bit thicker. So in this video, I wanted a new eye just because there's a lot going on with my eyes. But I wanted to make the um, lip, I mean, I wanted to make my new lip a little bit, you know, bigger. So I'm using two liners. 
um, from Morphe. I know one is called Honeymoon. I forget what the other one is called. I'll link that in the description bar below as well. But I'm using the brown, the darker brown color in order to, it's called Richie. I'm using the darker brown color in order to line my lips and then the other tan or nude one to fill them in. So you'll see me do that here. I still love like the indentation in my top lip though, the, the M as I call it. But I do want to see other looks with like a bigger blown out lip. So I'm going to attempt to do that on another video because I really want to see that, especially like in color. I want to see what my lips look like overdrawn with color. So we'll see. But I'm just playing around with the idea, of course, because I like literally never do that. But everybody has been doing it. It's been the thing for a little while. So I say, why not just try it? It's really subtle on this one though, because I chose to do it with the nude lip. And then honestly guys, I can show you some really horrible pictures from my high school years where I used to take black eyeliner. Why I used to do this, I don't know. <laughs> and line my lips with it. And then we used to put on the gloss. No, no, that was just horrible along with my brows. Horrible, horrible in high school. But let me do that. Yeah, like I said, I'm attempting to do this overdrawn. Look, and I'm super subtle with it guys, just because I don't want it to be a repeat of high school. <laughs> like, absolutely horrible. Okay, so this is that lip gloss or lipstick. It's matte. I freaking love it. I got it from a drugstore. I think it's Maybelline. My daughter bought it for me. I swear I can wear this every day of my life. Like, I can wear it with liner, with eyeliner. It still looks good. It still stays on for a long time. But at the same time, it is super duper moisturizing. I don't know how they did that, but I swear to you. It's like, I don't even know. It's probably under $10. But I do love this one. I will link it in the description bar. I think I put it in there before because I think I wore it on another video. But I love this is my favorite nude right now. Well, it has been for quite some time. So as you can see, I I overdrew it a little. Like it's subtle. It's a little. I think that's a lot for me though. So this Mac iridescent, it's it really honestly matches the Juvia's pink that I have on on my eyelids. I freaking love this Mac lip gloss. And it just puts a little a little shimmer on it, a little bit. I think I got this color from like TJ Maxx or something. It was like seven bucks. Not too bad for the first time. All right, so I got this like little bronzer, man years ago never freaking use it i decided to use it on my temples and stuff because i feel like it was like super duper light so just a little little bronzer there i'm trying to hide my double chin like seriously i probably need to use something a little bit darker but i really don't have anything i usually don't do this so i'm just experimenting pretty much
So I'm using this little brush to do my highlight this time because it's really not a lot of areas that I'm doing it in. And this is a highlighter I got from my itchy bag. And it has like some kind of, uh, touch of pink, but it's more like a lighter highlighter. I have to highlight my cupid's bow. Just doing a little cheek here. Yeah, and it's really hard to see, guys, because like I said, this light is horrible. I do apologize in advance. Horrible light. I want to get it together. I'm going to go back down to my little station for all of my stuff equipment is and do the next video there oh this is my matte um setting spray from nyx it's almost gone i really really like it i was trying to get the mac version it's like the primer um it's like primer hydrator and um setting but they were all out when i tried to order it from ulta Alright, so I'm just worried about these little hairs because they not how they're supposed to be. So I'm just fixing those real quick. So I'm using the um shining jam, which I love. It does keep my little hairs in the place. So I'm just using a little bit of that on my finger and just shaping them. I don't know I could do my edges with anything it really doesn't matter I could do it with a brush with a little toothbrush looking things with the comb whatever I'm gonna knock this little nappy ponytail <laughs> no it's not nappy but it gets tangly quick because of the hair so long but I have one like that and I have like a wavy one that I get from Amazon. I'll link both of those. And here's the finished product. Not too bad for first time, huh? 